Hello. Good morning and good afternoon, all. Hello. Hello, good morning, Mr. Ambrose. Good morning. Good Hello, good morning. Mr. Ambrose, good morning. Good morning. Please, good let's all smooth ourselves. So, let's all pray for us. Good afternoon, sir. Let's somebody pray for us. Yeah. Okay. A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Maliki yawm ad-din. Iyak kanabru kwa kanasahim. Idna sranta musakim. Sranta lazina alam ta'alahim. Gil magdubi alayhim wa da'alim. Amen. Thank you very much and God bless you. Yeah, people want, want to look at the market. I'll tell you that the market, uh, the week under it was, uh, no, was interesting. I'll tell you to see the volatility that comes with uh, anything. That's why it's not the dividend uh, no period, but you see the importance of earnings in equity investment. It has power to move price up. And that's why I said earlier that investment in equity market, anything is not about the direction about what volatility we saw what happened in the week under review especially on friday you no know, we saw inflow of you no know, numbers on friday and that changed the pace of the market you see stocks that have you no know, that uh, have remained a bit uh, under their you know, recent level some of them break out you no know, on friday just to touch a new height little new 52 weeks high before they close down tell you that market is really you no know, expecting this number and you ask me why is this uh you no know, Trend we are seeing the market. I will tell you number one is that the changing trend globally and coming back home again to see the, the two events that happened during the week one that especially the MPC meeting and the, the TGB option. What happened in that meeting also is what kind of another force in the equity market as we speak now, which is going to extend you know in the new week. But if you look at the history of the market, so February is not too attractive for the equity market. But because there's also a change of trend in submission of number. I believe that also going to change the trend in February because CBN decided to retain you know, MPC, uh, MPR at that 11.5 is good for the equity market. And yes, when I say that the uh, inflation, according to reason given to which I said last time, that because of insecurity, but it eat up a little for the month of December. That also is threatening already fixed income market uh, yield because of the, you know, the, the uptick we saw in the inflation uh, you know, figure. But if you look at what has happened so far in the market, especially in releasing number, there's a change in pattern in releasing number. You see banks that have not released, that have, that do not release their number within the month of uh, you no know, February. From what we are seeing, we will see more company releasing number in February. Especially those that come with the uh, you no know, uh, compensation in terms of dividend or bonuses that will come. But empty and surprises right today that they release their own. It's supposed to come in February. I see that yesterday was 28. We are entering February by next week. They can keep to that. They release their even audited and uh, their corporate action. The first company to release corporate that has December year end. It also, it's a sign that you also should look at your investment strategy. And don't forget that assets have not really results kind of uh, no results in um, in, uh, in 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 February. But assets have submitted their result to CBN, expecting that in the month of February before 28, they will see they will have approval from CBN. Isn't it have done the same thing? Which I know that by next week we'll see more bandwidth that so that. If you have failed to release your own audited before 31st market close on, on Monday and you release your damage, you are likely to be paying fine to NSC. I said that the last time that NSC this time is open, the amount is open, going to bite. Now that you have all these rules to guide you, the most companies that will not release their results on or before 31st uh, January, which is next week, they are bound to, uh, to release their results before 28th of February. For those ones we have seen so far now that have come with their own details so far in the market, they tell you that those companies they have the liberty or space between now and 31st of March to release their number. And they might have to come up in February, but because they've released their own audited for uh, fourth quarter coming with their own audited for 2021, it tells you that those companies now they have pretty space to audit the account between now and end of 31st. But those where you are yet to see in the market, if at the end of trading on, on, on Monday, the result or let's say at the end of that. Monday through that didn't lose the result. That means we are going to see more retail results that will come in the month of uh, February. You can see that even uh, Dangote men have sought uh, approvals, uh, approval from SEC that they're going to release their own audited. That means they're going to release audited in that same February. That means we're expecting more companies to release the number in February. Not no early pilots like a uh, uh, like a uh, UCAP, no Aka Prudential, Zenith Bank, no um, uh, Nigeria Blue Will and um, 
and uh, Nestle. Now I've seen more companies going to join them in February because they have taken you know, the new rules have mandated that if you didn't release your number before the end of 30, uh, 31st of January for quarterly ended 31st December and also your own audited coming with it, fine. If they didn't do that, that means so that means you and I are looking up to more activities work in February. Like I said earlier that if you look at the market trend, you're going to look at within the chart. February month is not a good month for our market in recent time. But I believe that because of changing trend in the market, we expect that February will be good for us this time because we're already seeing trend. And for me, the normalization of, of, uh, of interest, uh, interest rate or monetary saving in advanced market should not have affect us much as a normal market. Go and check the, the last uh, report that released by uh, the import, uh, the postponed management for investor participation in the market. You can see that we Nigerians or the you know are seeing more in terms of they are having less you know participant in our market for the last uh, two years. That means even with the normalization, even they want to say because we are taking the market more, it will affect us more. Yes, it might be, you know some stocks might suffer losses, just like what we are seeing in a in a in a GTB because they're selling GTB even before now. You no know, try to come out because GTB performance and stuff. In the most company where they are, but people in terms of taking control of the market. For the past two years, because of COVID 19, they are not playing much in our market. That means we still have our market intact. That's why I encourage us that we should give our, our links to most of the people. We need to you know, encourage more Nigerians to participate in the market. Let's you know, demand, depend less on foreign on foreign participants. Because if you have a foreign participant in your market, they push your market off for you. If you can't plan with such market, you only make money when it's going up. When they are selling and you are not aware, you're going to enter big loss. But that in any market all over the world, where they are, they are, they are strict uh, regulation, even though it's free entry and free exit. They don't allow foreign postal to take more than 20% or 25% of their market. But here in Nigeria, we we'll allow them when they come, they push our prices up, when they are going, you know, our prices are going down. But if we can maintain this temple, we are seeing the last two years, that we are seeing more participants, you know, in Nigerians in the market. That is why SEC, NSC, TBN should do more. Let's encourage Nigeria to come back to the market so that people you know we see a lot of robust activity in this market. That also help us to raise funds for the economy. That means we should depend less on them. And that is why I'm not afraid that between now and end of April, the market will lead to oscillate, profit taking, but we'll see a strong market because the outcome of MPC meeting and also the last uh, T uh, TP option that will say that rate is still dropping, where you can get quicker return with high yield is in equities. And consider that most of the companies that have read the result has also given us an insight that our you know, last quarter 2021, we're going to see a better even GDP because corporate earnings that have monitored from for the last quarter, we are seeing that they have done well in terms of their number. That gives you that we expect this thing to also go on in first quarter because nothing has changed so far. We have not saying that, oh, because interest rates have gone up or inflation have gone, we are still where we are now. That means the tempo we are seeing in terms of consumer you know, uh, trend in terms of purchasing power, we like to also don't forget that if you look at the, the NPR, that means purchasing manager that came for December, yes, you know that it's a testing period. You see that it also went up. Tell you that activities are coming back to the economy. For me, it's just a side patient for a portfolio, especially those that are in good stocks. And you can see that the numbers that are managing from different industries are giving us an insight what should we expect in those industries. Look at what happened in the building sector. Because of uh, the Guinness uh, uh, resort, so what happened to no international building? It's not international resort. No, because people saw the number of uh, Guinness, they, they reacted to go to work na, um, the international building. Look at the result of uh, check trend that came to the market. I see the market, they saw the impressive the number of, uh, of uh, patients. You see, they, 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 they moved to work to, to me and Baker. So these are the insights we want to spread. Also, the result of I'm telling you, echo uh, ETI also give kind of a momentum toward the kind of you know, option towards to all the banking sector they so that most of them were off. And now at what after the market was starting them uh, the number like from uh, you know from fidelity. You see this also going to help the market see what happened in a uh, you know in assets yesterday. Assets also touch as high as 10 naira, which has not done for you know, in recent uh, years. It touched that 10 naira before the highest uh, assets have touched is nine naira ninety five people it crossed that but it came down. Tell you that this earnings is going to drive the market between now and what at the first of March. That means you and I, if you're in right position, you don't need to panic. Even though that I think position uh, taking profit in some stuff, you cannot go back to other stuff that we're going to discuss here today because I see a lot of uh, you know, potential in the market. And for that, before we continue, I want to give what the, the strategy I said we're going to discuss today on how to treat earnings. For this purely using tech analysis to trade earnings, what you look at in tech analysis when you want to trade earnings. You want to trade earnings in technical analysis. We have seen these numbers now. That is why I said those that have access to our earlier video.
that, uh, that I said is uh, no profitable uh, investing with earnings profitably in the market. If you have watched that video, you know that you have to enter before the numbers hit the market. I'm telling you, those are positioned in all the companies that have released impressive number, Ota, all of them. They are smiling because the stock, um, you know, the prices of those stocks, you know, put up to, to gain about 10%, 9%, 6% yesterday. It tells you that this trend will continue as from next week. Why? People that are not there, see these numbers, I've seen also the photo of this company paying dividends uh, from their earnings because what we need to do now, now we have seen they are, you know, uh, unaudited for 2021. So what is this company, you no know, dividend payout ratio? If you want to get their payout ratio, it will give you an insight to what you expect from 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 uh, these uh, companies. But I want to just take example before I enter those uh, strategy. If you look at what happened in uh, in uh, in, uh, in um, Vitafoam. Vitafoam, you no know, last dividend was about seventy kopu because their earnings was impressive. They were able to grow their dividend from hundred uh, percent. Yes, many companies might not grow their dividend with ten percent, but I'm telling you, the numbers were seen. Companies can put their dividend at 20%, 30%, 40%. For example, now let's see what happened in fixing. Look at fixing results. And it's a company that dropped 25 people in 2020. Now, with the earnings they are having, even uh, at this point, you can answer that almost one and a half people you no know, uh, fixing is having. This will not pay you anything less than 50 people. And that is also more than 100% uh, no growth in their payout. These are the things you also guide you as an investor what to do at this season. Because for me, earnings have opened our eyes to see. Yes, people want to go to this uh, strategy. I call it a investor tech strategy for trading earnings. One that you must determine the, the or call it the, the trend uh, direction. Where is the market at this point? Yes, where is the market at this point? That is where this chart I just display now comes so important to us. We want to know where is the market. We need to know where is the market at this point. Once you know where the market is at this point, it's going to go a long way to guide you. This is the chart here to tell you where the market is. The market have tested almost uh, you know. This is 46,900 or something. After breaking up, uh, breaking out uh, the uh, this, uh, resistance level or cyclical line, then the market is still trending. Even the little pullback we saw is as a result of you no know, profit taking or sell off in Dangote cement. That means market is still in stock trend because looking at the pullback, take, I think that market has not gone change. Uh, what we call a uh, change in trend or change in characteristic. Market still maintain that. Uh, no uptrend uh, as we are seen looking at the chart. Actually, you need to know where the market is. Correction is, ne is inevitable in any market. But when correction comes, the pullback, you need to know where it will be the right place that when it's pulling back, where will be the support level. That's why you need to determine the trend of the market. Where is the market trending to? And where is the market at a particular time? Now that we are seeing where the market is from the chart, that will give us an insight that our market is still trending up. That is one of the strategies that you need to determine where the trend is and where the trend is going. But now the market is still what positive. If you come down and look at this uh, uh, histogram here, we call it a histogram MACD here. I see that market is still what bullish. Now see all these flag like line you are seeing, they are they are above what the what we call uh, the trend, uh, signal line. This signal line tells you that this market is still trending up. After market are broken out this level, let me draw this thing for you here. You see here after market are broken out this place. Market has been an uptrend. It tells you that market is very, very strong. And we have been just on a daily chart. I'm not going to explain the market now. When we go to weekly chart, it will give you it one more clearer way to understand that market is still what is still turning off. That means there's no cause for all of us to, to complain or say, oh, things are not happening. No, market is really on fire. But you need to you know allow your investment strategies and also go to guide you. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Girl. When I said it to sell um, um, ETI, what people were calling me, why? I said, yeah, they have momentum to go up. Let other people enter. If you, have, if you have meet your target, it's what I teach, it's what I practice. If I say, if you know, is it? Well, no, that means we are giving a target because when we are buying a stock, you have the stop loss, you have your buy range, you also have what your exit price. Once it's touched there, you can come out. If you want to wait, fine, on your own board. That you have to do that you can move to another stock because when the party is over, everybody wants to go out. That is where it's going to go for to see, to see buyer. But when the market is trending, you are meet your target. You can easily uh, uh, take out your, your profit easily because there are still demand for that stock. But not when you want to sell out your, there is no what demand for the stock. That is why you need to you know, have that trend. Another one that you need to do that one, you look at the where is the uh, the, the the area. We call it uh, finding the area or the level the market will correct. And this is where we come. We want to play between our what our resistance and support level. Which is also part of what we are seeing here. You see, the up here is resistant, the down here what is support level. This also guides you. If you go back, let's say, for example, let me use one stock here as example. Let me quickly go to one stock here. Hold on. 
give example of what I mean by finding area, finding an area or a level where the market will correct. And, use, uh, and also using what we call support level and standard. Well, so let, let's use the ETI. Yeah, okay. Thank you for that. Let me quickly call ETI chat off, please. Yes, this uh, ETI now. ETI is gone now. Can you see ETI here? Yeah. Hello, this uh, ETI chat. We're already on ETI. You can see that here. I want to draw a line. You can see from. Okay. This point, I see this is the resistance I'm saying, this is the support level. ETI has trend between this period before it breaks out. As a good trader, you want to know where this stock is likely to work, to the area, the value area, which your resistance level will tell you. And that's why I said always that when you are using uh, tech analysis, and those that have not have access to, to, to the infrared data um, tech tools, you need to get those tech tools. All these uh, indicators are discussed in that test, all these uh, you know, technical tools so that you can know how to use them effectively when you are trading. At this point, you see that uh, ETI and it was having a support, a strong level here and a support level here. But ETI break out this uh, nine naira fifty kobo at this point and started trading up on what on positive uh, technicals. I would say that there is something in for ETI and put it the word the third quarter number that supported it. We saw that this number was very you no know, attractive, very strong. People were taking advantage of that number, but they were all expecting results. But when the results came, um, fill up into the market, you see that it was a breakout before that. But see where it break out as an investor. Once the stock break out at this level, which is strong uh, volume, say that something is something in for that stock. Come down here to this, um, what we call a uh, MACD. MACD caught uh, across the three one from down. Since, since then, I see that the, the histogram has been on, what, on the bullish side. Then that this is in for what for, for, for ETI. For me, ETI actually has potential to see one because one, there are factors also supporting ETI. I call them uh, uh, fundamental news or fundamental, you know, fund, uh, fundamental forces or sentiment. One, I tell you that with this uh, new new Africa trade agreement that was signed. ETI being in more than almost 52 countries, plugging into that uh, platform will be a plus for them. And the cost of plugging it, it won't be much for them because it's, you know, it's technology. I think that was going to impact more on ETI. Here, if you are taking profit in ETI, good. But if you are buying now, there's no, no to panic. Even though the price correct at this level, you can take the dividend because from the earnings of almost uh, 7 naira, no, 79 kobo for two years, I see ETI paying you dividend for after they have not paid for the last uh, no, six years or five years. It's possible, and if this then come and they mark down with the advanced quarter will come coming again ahead, it's going to support the price between now oh, and oh, April. This is an April. I see that we will we'll see more activities or what in ETI. For me, ETI for me is a good place today. If you are there, for those that think profit, you don't need to regret, move to another stock world where you can also make profit mm -hmm. for mm, the market because I've the market is already giving us insight. Mm -hmm. I told you what happened there. Uh, to um start an appeal with uh, Nigeria, uh Guinness, what happened to uh, Big Sen and Mami and Baker? Yeah, I was wrong. If you have all this in the, at the Thank back you. of your mind, you won't be drawing up and down. You just know that you are in the market to make money. Just start patient in the stock you have. Another third one is you need to confirm the correction level of this market. That is why we need to go back to how to see correction. Question is that if you look at this uh, long uh, uh, candle for ETI, it's a full candle. There's no sign of correction already uh, now for ETI because you are seeing that at the end of the day, there's a full candle. There's no sign of correction now. But if we go back to the market uh, market, uh, the market index or, or what we call it, uh, index action, you see that there was a little pullback after market had touched about uh, 46,950 something. It pulled back to because of what sell up and what we're taking in a, in a grand treatment after the, the buyback. That is how to know that the question about what well, after you see that kind of question, you check where will be the next support level. If the market comes down from here, where is going to find base? These are the how to trade that. I will clearly confirm what the correction base. Another one is using you know invest data technical tools. We need to also know what we call the where there is most likely rebound. And that most likely rebound, you use what we call Fibonacci you no know, 
choose in technical analysis to know exactly when a stock would like to provide. Let me go back to the, the market, uh, the OSHA index, so that we can get the picture there. Fine. When I use the, when I draw the, the map, the Wonachi, you cannot understand what I'm saying exactly. Let me go back to the, to the index, the OSHA index, so that it will give you an idea when you see, to know where the correction, if it's correct and where it's likely to get and what and bounce back. This on a daily <laughs> chart, I want to change the this chart to what to, to give us a clear you know, direction, a clear position of what I'm saying. Yeah. You see this uh, on a weekly on a weekly chart. You see the market has already given us a sign here. You see that the market this work called a reversal sign. When the market is trending up, you saw this uh, candlestick. It's a sign of reversal. But what you do after seeing sign of reversal, you need to look at where if you take your Fibonacci views, you need to find out from here. This is the top market. You not the top from the top. You not draw. Can, you can see the graph. Bro. Are you not seeing it? Are you not seeing it? I seen your picture, not the graph. Ah, sorry, sorry. You can see the graph. Yes, I'm coming. I think connect. Okay, hold on. Yeah, sorry for that. I thought I've connected to the bottom. Can you see it now? Can you see it? Yes, we can see the graph uh, now. Yes, 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 that's with that the market is about to reverse. To reverse. But if market is going to reverse on a weekly chart, we have seen this one. But if you go back to your daily charts, what I want to do now, we are going to see another chart here. On the daily charts, you see the sign here on the daily chart, how the market is also in it. The sign that market is trying to also to reverse on the daily chart. It pulled back. So now I see that yesterday it was, it has not even covered where it pulled back from. That is that the market is also trying to reverse. But on a weekly, on a weekly chart, which I showed you earlier. We saw that the market is already weak at that level. That's why it came down because of the sell-off. But now with more earnings we are seeing, the fire we are seeing the market is going to continue in the week we are entering. But if you go to your monthly charts, which I want to play now, our monthly chart has not been too friendly for the month of what, for the month of uh, February. For monthly charts, you can see that this year with the uh, 2020, uh, 2018, you saw this longer uh, candle, this January candle was positive. But after market are value to gain almost 9.5 in that uh, so January, you saw the next one, it was February. Market was down. You know what happened in 2018. Then also in 2018, continue that then. In 2019, again, market was up in January. You can see it here. In January, market was up before the market was down. Sorry, yeah, down in January. But in 2020, that's where I'm going. Look at 2020 here. You see 2020 here. In January, market was up. For February market came down. That's where the market touched the, you no, know, the almost 11 years low for market rebounded. But in 2021, market was up also in January. Check it. 2021 market was up in January. You can see it here, but down in February. Now we're already in a January ending because that's going to use the we are using the month picture because as at you know yesterday the month has, and we we'll have a one trading day for January which will be on Monday. Other days are giving us sign. For me, I think that month of February this year, year my likely turn because I say that the changing event globally is also affecting our market positively. And these two events that happened, you know, within the week, the MPC meeting and the the, the treasury bill option, primary option, are also going to put kind of force, kind of add the momentum to the equity market in terms of price because the numbers that are coming are impressive. I said earlier that this number has given us insight what our GDP will look like, you know, for, for the last quarter of 2021. On that note, there's no cause for us to panic in the market. The next one is following them. Uh, Following a, set, following a set of what entering a condition. What is this entry condition? When there's a signal, this signal is when you identify the signal with, with candlestick. For example, you saw here what happened here that this was a reversal you no know, candlestick here. Because if I can come here, we'll call this one also hammer. You can see it here. When you see all these things here too in a you know that the market is about to work to go up. You can see what happened this thing hammer here. When you see this hammer in a candle like chart like this, they give you sign. Look at the, what happened here. This is another, so another hammer. Once you see them, it tells you that market is about to reverse, especially when there's volume and there's what some fundamental that we are seeing now. Knowing that earnings is one of the strong fundamental that price feed on. As price feed on earnings, but earnings will move price up. That's why in the short run or the long run, 
earnings is what move forward. Oh. Apart from other information oh. that comes from the market, from yeah. the economy, one that comes yeah. regularly, that comes four times a year, it is earnings. And when they come, they are positive. They have what impact on what on price. The last one that we need to do there is we need to also know how to manage your risk level. That is why that risk level is knowing that you want to take low risk by buying low and sell high in technical. That means we look at your what your support at this level to know where is the support level of this stock. Is it going to, to you know, rebound from that support level? Okay, at the time of you know, getting to resistance, we're going to break it out. Once it breaks out resistance, like what we're seeing here, then you are the market is going to continue. For me, I see that our market is strong on daily on, on daily charts, strong on weekly charts, and strong on monthly charts. That is that the market has what where it is heading at this point. This is not the time for us to panic. What we saw yesterday is just the start of what we see in the month of what February. Because in the month of February, most of the results we are seeing is going to come with what with a corporate action. Like what we just saw in a, in MTN. An MTN payout, I'll tell you, that is a good fantastic you no. Know, Pay out for to encourage investors in that uh, company because for me, I don't want to what they paid earlier. That's about almost 13 naira something. And that if that will continue with the number and what we're seeing to that will bring a more inflow to MTN. MTN price is likely to even touch 300 naira. You no, know, in a short time, but we need to have your go when you're jumping to any store. That is why I do the time buy and sell signal. You know, even though I have sent them what to do, you know, for the previous, the previous before. For the new week now, they stop to enter, we always, you know, put them out for you to also enter because any season has momentum, it has liquidity, it has what markets for. Sentiment are positive, especially when the numbers are good. I will tell you, out of almost 100, uh, you know, numbers that have come to the market, I will tell you, about 70 to 60 to 70 are impressive. Only if you have, have a missed performance and only those you have posted, uh, you know, a, a decline, um, a red account. That this last quarter result and even 2021 result were seeing a better number compared to what we saw in 2020. The sign that this market, this moment, was also carried to around February, around uh, April, to what we are seeing. Apart from if there will be any changes, political uh, policy changes in our economy, not to forget that policy change also play a, 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 a significant role in the market. If there's no policy change as we are seeing now, we're going to see that. Don't forget that the next MPC will come you know, in March. And that means we have even made money before the MPC come in March. That means we need to take advantage of what we are seeing now and then uh, watch the market. For me, there's no cause for alarm. For the few earnings I want to look at before we, we pick we an answer, I want to just consider them. One of these earnings that I want to consider this morning, I want to start with uh, the Los Vegas. The Los Vegas number, I will tell you, these are the numbers. And you as an investor in this class, I will mention what we call it. Uh, I always, always mention what we call fundamental news. These fundamental news are very, 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 very important. Very, very important. By the, what I mean by that is that we know actually that government at what level, at the state level, even at the federal, they are all going into infrastructure. Lagos State recently also signed a contract with uh, the Los Vegas. If you, if you go to the river state, I'll tell you, even all the roads, even one to the so the area is being constructed by Los Vegas. And they are not handling most of the big projects in Nigeria. The number we are seeing, I'm not surprised because it's a reflection of you know, what they have done. And also, government in 2022 budget has also hiked, you know, kind of uh, improved their you know, capital expenditure, going from almost 25% on the capital expenditure. It tells you that those building materials and companies like uh, Los Vegas will have more business in 2022. For me, the stock that we should, if you are there, hold on. And from the earnings we are seeing, Earnings of, uh, I know that it's an unaudited account. If they want to be any adjustment at the, when they audit it, it won't be much. We are seeing almost uh, 5 naira 85 kubu at, at the end of uh, 2021. Two year unaudited account. Give an answer that what you should expect from this company. And if the company is selling around 25, 24 naira and any per share of 5 naira 80, 80, 85 kubu already for two years, I don't see this company paying anything less than 3 naira to you as dividend. It should also guide you what to do with such kind of company. Also, if you look the way of uh, the work of ETI, ETI also have also grown their bottom line seriously, and even though they are, the top line was about that, the bottom line was up from, from 30, 33.7 no, billion to almost 143.11 billion. So that gives you an insight. And if I said their full year EPS for 2021, yes, on the digital account to agree, it's about uh, 7 naira, no, 70, 72 kobo, and against 1 naira 80 kobo. That's just a different possibility, ETI is high. If we move to fixing, which I've mentioned already, fixing also has a turnover of, uh, you know, from you know, 18.28 billion to about 30.74 billion naira turnover. This is more, more than a 15% growth top line. And also, if you look at the, the, the PAT, which is bottom line, the, the property level line, about from 1.21 to 1, 3.10, 
P is massive, and that earnings move from 50 co 58 Kobo in 2020 to 1 Naira 48 Kobo would have mentioned this give you an insight to what should come from this, and that also is what is dragging them. Um, no price of uh, me and Baker. Me and Baker also want to also release a better number also because they are in the same industry. Don't forget that me and Baker also paid 30 Kobo in their last word, in their last uh, 2020 to uh, 2020 audited results. For me, these are the numbers we are looking at. Also, another number that comes from the service sector. One from uh, the Skywave Aviation, one from um, Marco. That also gives you an insight to what's likely to happen to what in Carbaton. You, as an investor, these numbers are impressive. And this is a service sector. We know that the, the vaccine uh, no regime that we, we had in 2021 really impacted the, the aviation industry and transport industry. But that if we are seeing these numbers emanate from them, to give an insight to what we also should see going forward into the future. Another number that I see that is too impressive there is Okumu. And now, Komu, what you should expect from what Propresco? Okomu has about a, a, a top line of from you no know, 23.14 billion to 37.46 oh. billion, and a PAT of from 7.78 billion to 14.04 billion. And any pressure move from 8 Naira, 8 Naira 16 Kubo to 14 Naira 17 Kubo. This gives an insight to what you should expect also from, uh, from, from, uh, no, no, from Okomu. And total was going to tell you that that has come my mind to see that. Oil sector total is not into crude oil like uh, like like uh, and uh, and uh, and the one do. But see, can see that the numbers here. Yeah, I know that yes, they are going going to energy for those sorts of. But see the number that came from total. It's mind blowing that that this number is fantastic in terms of that is operating. For me, it give an insight what to expect also from the oil sector and uh, and the number of uh, total tell you the kind of dividend to expect from. Uh, Total. Since total hitting 280 again, for me, I'm not surprised because this number is enough to support the uh, no, total to go to that level. And finally, we want to look at the first quarter result that came from Vital Food. Vital Food result give you an insight to what is going to expect. If for the first quarter, Vital Food is putting almost a uh, 124 Kobo for first quarter, if you're going to look at analyzing that, that's about almost like a uh, no five naira for, for 2022. If all things being equal, that should be also give you insight to what you should expect from this kind of company. For me, Investors were seeing that our numbers were seen from our companies where we are. These numbers are becoming better to reflect the kind of uh, no management we are because despite the changing uh, no economic no environment, they are still trying to make sure that they are making money. That means our corporate managers in Nigeria, I will tell you, I will say kudos to them who are seeing their importance of no bringing out positions that have impacted their bottom line to this level. And at this point, we we'll leave here and ask for question and answer. Then we will give uh, our stock to buy and sell. Then if you want to add to the the market update or anything you are free to do, uh, and that's how we continue the class. Thank you all. Thank you, Edgar Ambrose. Thank you, sir. Really appreciate your contribution, your concern, and God will continue to bless you and enrich with your wisdom and your success. My concern is about fixing. Okay. That's what I'm telling you. That's my concern. Anything for fixing, can we still hold on or can go and oh, if you're fixing. If yeah. you are fixing, hold on, you are fixing. Fixing that automatically is becoming the leader in that sector. And for me, I'll say, hold on, fixing will still go up. Because if you look at the chart of the market, the OSHA index, and the chart of fixing, the chart of uh, 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 Vitaphone, the chart of, uh, of uh, Yokam, they are almost related with the market. That's why that it is the high cap costs that are moving the OSHA index. But the pattern was in the tennis system of these companies are affected their price. To where they are. That is why we are seeing such a change in a, in such a company. For me, if you are fixing, ah, who knows you are fixing? Who knows you are fixing? But fixing will might surprise you in their payout because if you fixing and uh, having almost uh, no one naira for the for the eight <laughs> kubo at the two year and they pay you, you know, they pay you they pay you just uh, to that last year with this number. I don't see them pay anything less than 50 Kobo. That's more than 100 percent. If they pay anything 75 Kobo or even one naira, depends on them. But the numbers because that the price will still go up. Just hold on if I fix it. Ambrose, ah. I just want to add to that. Okay, thank, thank you. you. My advice to all of the investors for the company that have not released their result, please don't sell. Except if you have and insider information would tell you that the result is bad. But if you don't have that information, keep and wait until the result is delivered. You see what happened to ETI, Ecobank. We are saying based on the investment, you can say now when the result is out, you will see that you can decide to hold your ETI. 
Yes. Because it will still go high. Yes. So my mm -hmm. advice that is just like a pregnancy that you don't know what is going to be delivered. Why don't you be patient until mm -hmm. after delivery? Mm -hmm. Then you decide. So all these companies that have not released their first quarter results, oh yeah, and please accept if you are in desperate need of money, they in that situation we cannot help it. Otherwise, I will advise you all until we deliver the thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jabra. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, sir. Sir. Yeah. Any other question? Ambrose, okay, Ambrose. Sir. Well done, sir. Thank you, sir. How do we see first bank? First bank, actually, because they keep on uh, parading on the same level. You know, is there any um prospect in that stock? We know there was a rally some time ago, but um is it possible we there will be a gain on that stock? Okay. On okay. Okay. okay, you know, in uh, in technical analysis, like in this class, I always combine technical analysis and fundamental when we are discussing here. And because of many reasons, you no, know, that is how, how to invest anywhere. Technically, you can see that the price of a uh, 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 what's it called, first bank or FBH is, is oscillating between 12 naira and 11, 11, uh, 10, 11, 20, and within that range for a while. Yeah. That means it's waiting for a, a news for a breakout. What you do if you're that kind of stock, you don't sell out, you watch to see the trend. And also, look at the trend when this bank normally releases the result. Do they release? audited as at this January that we spent at, as at, at the first of the last day. If not, if the time that we release within the February report, I tell you it's among them that we release in this February, this uh, January. That means in between now and uh, on uh, on Monday, my see first bank number. But I will tell you still hold on in that position. Don't sell, don't just jump out. Hold on. Even if you're already there, hold your position. If you want to buy, you need to wait before you jump in. Like I'll tell you that you must see a breakout when the stock is on a on a on a on a resistant level. There, it's not breaking out. Now you are not breaking out that for a long time. You have to wait until you break out twelve before you can jump in as a new trader. Because we call it people that trade the breakouts. If you know you want to break out before you jump in, if you trade a trade breakout, you don't jump in at this level. Hold on to see a breakout with a force, with a volume before you jump into uh, into first bank. But if you are there already, our advice pull your position in first bank after expecting the result. I'll tell you the result that came from ETI, one that came from um uh, fidelity are giving us inside that's why the one that came from SMB was flat but these two that came from from um from eti and the fidelity are giving us inside of what we should expect from the banks and I also see some good respect for most of our banks that are you know as well as the attentable outside nigeria especially uba and um, and the uh, access bank i think potential in them because i tell you we're going to see more number for this number from ETI because of the new pass that was just uh, launched by CPN in Ghana about two weeks of days ago. Because that trade zone has come to stay for Africa, and if, uh, the more it grows, the more it improves, the more people's activities improve, so it's going to benefit from it. That means for me, our banks as well to watch. Let's wait to see the number of uh, the number of uh, first bank folk and uh, that to jump back. But if you want to buy, hold on. For those that in, also hold on. You must see a compartment of a breakout of this trade naira for new positions to be taken. Okay. Ambrose. 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 Yeah, good afternoon, sir. Yes. Uh, MTN uh, came out with their scorecard yesterday and they paid the, the final dividend. Uh, for this week, we've seen uh, how uh, it, uh, Africa. Uh, the, uh, the way it went up. So, con what what is the reason behind that? And also, given what is happening to ATL, what is your take on MTN? Okay, I will tell you technically again on the chart of fundamental we have seen so far. The the chart for MTN is looking positive and strong for technical, and now coming with a, a final dividend of almost eight naira fifty fifty seven kubo for me is a good one. And I said earlier that factors that will increase their cash flow are there already. You no, know, with this, uh, they are new assets they are processing for payments. And at the same time, you no, know, build one that some one of the highest bidder for the five GT plus going to the future for that company. Not only that, we know that despite the is selling for almost one thousand something, 
But in terms of business and in terms of uh, reach in Nigeria, I think MTN has the business in Nigeria. It's because Ether is a dual listing company, which I later go that that is why they joined kind of rally. And because it's a listed company outside the shop in Nigeria, particularly in London, I will tell you many people, like Alaji have said last class, that people can even couple that stock at once. And because of that, there'll be demand for it, not just because of the company is too good or the numbers are too fantastic, but there's something attached to them to that company. Especially now that we see that the FS market here is a bit tight. It's not a, then instead of you cleaning up and looking for it, go and buy the stock in Nigeria couple. And that is part of what and also the number of is not actually not bad, but I tell you, I'm not seeing performance. Yeah, that is driving the price of Ether as to speak now. It's just sentiment. But I see that performance also support at, um, at, um, MTN because we're seeing where they are and where they are going. The price is still cheap. I just I said, if the price is in 300 naira before end of um, you know, June is high. But because of the political environment, knowing that this... Uh, oh, we're not uh, trying, uh, Mr. Ambrose. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yes, Ambrose, we're hearing you. Uh -huh. That's what I see that. I see that we, because of the pre-election year, there might still even more activities for those kind of stuff like ETH because if people are not seeing where to take their money away, they can be buying ETH to take their money away. That means for me, I would advise every one of us that if you really want to play defensive and also you have to be very careful, let's go for ETH because they probably will see people going being pre election year, we might see high demand for them. But don't forget that that's not only stuff that has dual listing. We have a step lap, we have this ETI. These are the things that we rub on uh, on this uh, component. ETI price will still go up. That's why if you are entering this price, don't don't bother your buying at high price. But my pullback correction is about to happen in ETI, but that correction won't last. Yes, after that, they will pop up taking that, pull it back. They will don't panic, it will come to the bottom. Mr. Ambrose, okay, Ambrose, Ambrose, Mr. Ambrose, a chip on, on the hello, uh, airplane. okay, sir. I just want to add a few words on the airplane, okay, sir. Go ahead, then. Airtel is now among the top 30s. In, in indices yeah. Yeah. of FTSE. Yeah, London. And what does that mean for those who are private equity portfolios who have already a certain portion of in uh, FTS 30 has to be part of their portfolio and they don't have airtel now they have to go to market right. and mm. search for airtel in order to uh, to average their portfolio holding. Yeah. So because of this, we are likely going to see some rally on the FTSC. Yeah. Wherever there is private equity that play a market, there is a certain percentage of their portfolio must go to uh, FTS 30, yeah. just like uh, FTS 30. So any stock that fall into that, it may make some trigger of the buy. Yeah. And if you go out of it, like what happened to First Bank, you know, because of the rising of the First Bank, it become in the NGX 30. Because First Bank is now NGX 30, those private equity that doesn't have First Bank as part of their portfolio, they are compelled to take yeah. it in order to average their NGX 30. So those indices are very, very essential and it's good for the investors to watch out. Do you fall under the NGX 30, FTS 30? If the answer is yes, then there is likely going to have some realignment. And if you fall out of it, there is likely going to see more sales. Hello, yeah. So this has been the tradition all over. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Thank hey, you. Ambrose, Ambrose, yeah. I want to uh, ask. Hello, Mr. Ambrose. Ask. Okay. I want to okay. ask. Eh? Okay. Um, recently, as of yesterday, there's this news that um, Google is investing as much as a billion in Bati Airtel. That is the parent company of Airtel Africa. In, in, okay. uh, in, in India. Uh, yes, in India. Yeah. Exactly. And that the investment is a hybrid investment. Um, it's going to be $700 million as um, equity and the other 300 will be in commercial um, commercial partnership. So that will take them to a total of 1.3% ownership. Now, how do you think this will trickle or affect Airtel Africa if this um, investment by Google pulls through? I see it as a, a positive news for Airtel. And also don't forget that because Airtel is a dual, is an international company listed nearly you know, in major extent of the world, 
I see it as a plus for them. That's why I said, if you are in there now, you don't need to panic, but rather take advantage of the news you are hearing and also the torture. You know, Ete has a match at year end. We just saw they were expecting their uh, third quarter to come you know, to the market anymore from now. If that was to come and give more light, I tell you, the price will stay like I say, if you are in there, who your position is going enter. Like what you just said, knowing that everywhere in the world, they are seeing that the telecom companies are the giant now, driving growth, driving economic, driving digital, digital economy. That is why you see people are taking strategic uh, investment in all these uh, telecom companies. That's why what you just said now, I told you that it's going to be a positive uh, impact in terms of fundamental news for uh, global. Uh, hello, good afternoon, uh, Mr. Ambrose. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, please, I have a little question. Okay, sir. I have one question here. My question has to do with um, my concern is basically on the transport. If you look at what is happening lately, for every month, people have been massive. And uh, the, the price are oscillating between 103 and 111. And I don't know, is there any possibility that it will go stop at one, or is it going to break that 111? So that's my little question there. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. For me, if you are already in a in a transcorp, I will say who your project transcorp. I've said in this class that transcorp is one of the companies that is generating good money, but they are not seeing the cash because you no, know, the, the, the cash is not available for them. For another thing, like, another leg of to transcorp is that transcorp is also into oil business. You see oil price now. If that we, are, they, we don't know who are not magnifying that uh, oil business, if crude oil price is keep on going up, transcorp is going to benefit from it. I said the main company that are in the crude oil business in Nigeria are Transco, uh, Wando, and the what and the Teplan. Because uh, uh, Transco is lying for them, people don't know much. But for me, the, the utility business they are into, they like, you know, the like they are into, it's a good business. Anywhere in the world, when you are promoting utility, you make money. I said for me, if you are in, in uh, Transco for long term, for your project, even though you are a trader, it's like to break out that even one that are 15, uh, one that are 15, one that are 18, uh, uh, strong uh, uh, resistance level I, as I now. Once you break it out, you see that stock around either 140, even 150 very soon. If you are in Transcorp, I will still advise you wait. It's possible that Transcorp results will come in February because I've not seen their unaudited account for this, uh, you know, from what we saw yesterday. But I know that between now and on that, I'll still watch. But if the result is not out, that means the result will come early in February. So that means month of February. If it comes, you're going to break out that level. Right? If you are in Transcorp, just hold on your position. Don't just say. Because we'll see the power of uh, numbers and it's playing now because liquidity is already coming back to the market. That's why there's a little pullback because of the so sell off in the in the, in the day. So like as at yesterday, you see that banking sector no transaction as in people because these are dividend paying companies. People want to make money. And in the future of Nigeria, our banking sector is the most you no know, dividend paying uh, sector. That's why we are seeing activities coming back to the banks. And for me, that will have continue in the month uh, in the month of February. Yes, we know that in the last three years, four years, we are seeing that February so this entering red, entering red. But with this trend, we are seeing changing trend globally. And the two events that happened so far in this week will support the market in the, in the, in the new year entering. And if more companies start to that come with corporate action, we'll see more activities. For me, if you're in Transcorp, put your position and watch for the results to hit the market. Hello, Ambrose. Please. Yeah. Uh, thank I you very much. Want to ask... Thank you very much, Ambrose. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, thank you. <laughs> this uh, ETI, what is their share outstanding? Because the EPS that is being paraded, some people are saying 5.7, some people are saying. Seven point something. So for one part, you see ETI share of standing it says eighteen point something billion. Somewhere else, you see twenty four point seven billion. What is really their their share of standing? Yeah, and what to... does that translate yeah, into in terms of EPS? Their yeah, share of standing, as to speak now, is uh, eighteen point something billion, and that gives EPS of seven naira, seven naira fifty six uh, But I have to I have to do it myself. Even some of the ones that I know that there are some mm. that do share the construction and some companies that uh, also did do bonus. If you look at the stock like um, you know, Julius Becker, he did bonus now last year. But if you, if you are looking at this connection, their they they share issue has increased. But for ETI, their share issue has not increased, has not changed. It's still getting for certain billion. Mm. And that will give you uh, seven point uh, seven point uh, hold on. About seven point seven. Seven point, yeah, that will give you. 7.8, yeah, 7.7, they are giving us 7.80, yeah, 7.7. Mm -hmm. I know in their report, anyway, in their report, in their uh, unaudited report that was posted, I saw something 24.7. I'm still trying to figure out what that represents. No, you know, that, one, that, 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 one is, that one is for uh, discontinued operation. I've seen that one. That is for discontinued operation. Okay. Yeah. Okay, all right. For discontinued operation, yes, sir.
We're uh, to the numbers. Numbers. Please, uh, with regards to what uh, Alaji have just said, okay. is Alaji saying that uh, Airtel has entered the NSI 30 and that uh, we should buy Airtel? Is that what Alaji is saying? No, by what is it now? By Monday uh, next week, by gold base in uh, in London market, we we'll call F- F- FST. Uh, it's going to join that uh, index there. That means you know those uh, private equity over there, they want to increase the uh, include the uh, ether in their portfolio, and that also be a force for that talk. But in I say in Nigeria here, if you know you want to see when you know once once a time you see that N- NST do work or coming in and uh, exiting in 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 index. If you look at our own uh, NST that today. That those stocks that are dead, yet the time they are living there, they will sell off. But when they are coming in, the most private equity investor here want to put them their portfolio, what is called NSC tax, so that it will be in your portfolio. That means with this, what we are going to see in London, even what will happen in the market today, that that stock for me is a stock to buy. That's what I like to say. And he didn't say you no know, because of uh, the industry, because that will demand for it to so kind of create additional demand for ether because by, by money they will add it to what. To F, uh, London and Fusti. Yeah, Fusti that. Hello, Mr. Afri Prud. How do you say Afri Prud? Afri Prud. How do you say Afri Prud? Yes. Afri Prud for me, for dividend paying uh, uh, investor, if I would have paid it at around 50 Kobo, 60 Kobo, it's a good buy at this price. So you know that I mean, their performance for the uh, 2021 was not too attractive in terms of number. But if their final result come, I will see a better number. I know that it will come this February by next month. We can now know, but if you are a dividend paying uh, uh, investor, you can get like 60 Kobo or 50 Kobo there compared to the price of uh, what is it? Arise around 9% or 8% cheap. It's a good one to buy. But the capital appreciation depends on the number. But if you are there now, don't sell. If the number comes my surprise market, as we are seeing this uh, oscillation and momentum increasing uh, in the market, it might move the price up. Okay. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Yeah, Hello, sir. yeah good afternoon, sir. Hello. Yeah, good, good afternoon. afternoon. Good afternoon. Please, uh, so concerning FTN, MTN Coco, okay. I found that they continue posting losses. The last one is about one point something, and they now collect money from the people now for their maybe 40 or 50 over. What I'm saying that, and they say they are into exportation, and yes, they are making losses. How do you see this company? Where do you, where do you think they are going to? Because I was surprised that they are into exportation. That means that they are making, they are collecting dollar, and yet they are making losses <laughs> on a yearly basis. So what is really happening? Why is it like this? Because they are for sure. Thank you very much. Yeah. You know, you know what? I like your question because, you know, Admiral sector is the sector that I know that is thriving in Nigeria now. And cocoa is one of the, you know, the hot uh, commodity all over the world. It's not because here, yeah, because we are just putting the raw material, we are not valuing it. If you are giving the raw material of cocoa, it's one of the, uh, you know, commodity I know that is also flying. If that's their business and they're exporting, with time, with that, they are, their negative account will wipe out. What you need to check the, 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 the negativity they are posting. Is it dropping? A company can come out from a bad situation to up, but you need to check their uh, uh, negative they are posting. Is it dropping or increasing? If the negative price in 2019 was two billion, and you are seeing the one for 2020 now, or 21 now, is five five hundred million. Say that they are mm-hmm. wanting, they are reducing their loss. That is what you should know. Not that if the company is in loss, it doesn't mean that the company has gone. No, it might be that situation policy change can have put the company into red. For saying that is what matters, but if you come out of that, it's, it's, it's on, that, on that thing. If they are reducing their loss to turn to positive, that is what you take. Because I will not for now, I'm not looking at that number, I've not seen it. That's why I can't comment much on uh, on uh, each. Uh, uh, Thank you, sir. Yes. to what I see, sir, it is increasing. I was surprised. It, it is, is increasing. It's increasing. Uh-huh. Yes. The loss was increasing. That's why that they, are even, they even give them money. Oh. That means that within a short time, that money will wipe over again. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Ambrose. Hello, Ambrose. Uh, hello. Yeah, you mentioned on this. Yeah. Can I ask my question? Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, I observe that Unilever, between okay. uh, comparison of 2020 and 2021, there is uh, an improvement in their operation performance. Okay. But how do you see that translating? I mean, how do you see that affecting them on the exchange, affecting the price? On the exchange, yeah. For me, for that on that number, I saw the number too. The market reacted to that number the day was released because of what they saw that there was a growth. Uh, there was a growth in terms of performance. 
from the previous year, mm. eight, eight, previous year um, 8 Kobo to 68 Kobo. That's improvement. But for me, that 68 Kobo is not too attractive. But what I think that would drive the price of um, of, uh, of uh, uh, Unilever is not really the, the performance now. But the same kind of uh, sentiment that drove even, uh, uh, what was it called? Um, BZ, BZ and even the Nigeria Brewery, even uh, in it, it's not because of their performance. It's just opposite that what I've seen uh, for this number from uh, from Guinea. It's not because the foreign portfolio holders or foreign investor in that company are not unable to kind of break back their money and they want to increase their stake, they can come to the market and buy. And with this number we are seeing, it will become attractive for them that the future of the company is becoming brighter. That will attract more from the Not only the number, but it's a good thing that they have moved from eight cobo to six cobo. That margin is good. It tells you that they have you know, they are passing back heavily. But still if you are know, you know, to support the hotel naira stock. But there's other sentiment that will support that. As a trader, I think that you must know how to support, combine your technical and your fundamental. If you are a check your technical now. I tell you, Unilever is having a positive technical, even for the past almost uh, like three months. That technical has been there. But with this result, you, 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 you saw a breakout for what we do. For me, it's a good one. Don't the that patient, the price will still go up. Don't slow down. Oh, okay. Thank Hello, you, Mr. Ambrose. Hello. Mr. Ambrose. Hello, Ambrose. Yeah. Hello, good morning. Yeah. How are you today? Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. I would like to. Uh, I, I would like you to uh, help me to look at where my bank. Okay. Yes, sir. Where my bank? Okay. What do you want to do there? Let me call the chat up now. Hold on. Okay. Is it in the value area? Yes, I'm looking at vis-a-vis -vis what they are doing. Can, is there any opportunity to make money there? Okay, opportunity to make money with my bank. Let me take a look at my bank and see, and see what it goes for us. Okay, I will tell you that technically the chart of my bank is not looking bad. Oh, well, let me go to, sorry, let me go to, on a monthly chart, it's not looking bad, but let me go to daily chart first. We'll start from there. I will see. Oh, yes. This talk, a uh, human bank is for call, it's a decent decline. Seriously, you don't want to go beyond. We are not seeing your chart. Oh, see your chart. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, oh. sorry. It's my side. Let me connect it. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Are you seeing now? Hello, are you seeing it now? Yes. yes. Yeah, you can see from the from, from the from the chart on a on a daily uh, chain, the stock is going to decline seriously. But if you go down and look at your chart, uh, your what we call uh, the MACD here, uh, it's already uh, on a very strain. But the price is on a strong position that you don't want to go below this price of uh, 82, 80, between 82, 84. You see that there's something going for it, and this that you are seeing. There's already a correction, but a strong support level is at this point now. That means the stock is waiting for another news to break out. If you are in this stock already, I will say hold on. But for me, I won't buy this stock personally. I don't know why. Why? Let me just tell you one. I won't buy it. Because it's a penny stock one. And yes, the end is just looking up gradually. And I can't put volume here in this stock. But for those that are put already in this stock, you have to wait for their work, for their audited or audited account. Because I know that when it comes, you the trend I saw in their first quarter, quarter there's improvement in their performance. You can still wait. But I won't buy this stock at this price now until I see a breakout. Because this is strong support level that's resisting. When it makes a U turn up, technically I can enter. And also, in addition to any other fundamental news on this on the company, I cannot take it. But for now, I won't buy. But if you are there, just hold on. I will advise if you are there. Don't panic because there's a strong resistance that the price don't want to go down. You can see that all these places. It's a little good now, and it's a sign that nothing positive my like it to come from the stock, but I will not buy this kind of stock. Yeah. Thank Thank you. You. Secondly, 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 sir, I'm still on the floor. Okay. Secondly, sir, I want to call up the uh, the chart of a uh, of a uh, ETI. Okay, I've, I've done that before. Let's go. I just join us. Oh, I just join you, sir. Uh, oh, I look at that one. Okay, where is that you want in ETI? Okay. Well, well, I want to know. I missed out on ETI. Is it? Can I see enter now in view I'll, of that result? I, I will. I will advise you can go ahead and enter now. But a pullback will be more appropriate. But you can buy now. Even when a pullback you are there, you can take the dividend. You can go ahead and buy now. Yeah. Okay. I should wait. 
I should wait for the pullback. Pullback is necessary to buy, but if you buy even when you pull back, it's going to also go up again. Yeah, but our advice is when you pull back, you cannot jump in proper. Okay, sir. Good afternoon, bro. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. Yeah, please, I want you to help us call up on Fidelity and Sterling. Then Fidelity, we don't uh, are they able to see it's not very well. Can you help us analyze the result? Fidelity results, let me see. I think I've not done it. Wait, hold on. I've not worked on Fidelity or what they come to me. No, I've not worked on Fidelity. I will do Fidelity in the next meeting. But the numbers from what I see is not a bad number. It's good. But let's look at the chart first. But I know the market will respond to it. Yes, it's one year thirty four. It's not a bad number. Let me quickly call it up now and see the chart of uh, Fidelity how it looks like. Okay, this is daily chart. Daily chart is looking uh, very very sweet. I will tell you, this is a, a daily chart already. This daily chart is sweet from fidelity. You can see an uptrend here that the stock has maintained recently, and that uptrend is still strong, very, very strong in fidelity. For me, fidelity is a good one. You are there, and with the number you can see that there's a you no know, a bullish uh, candle as at uh, you no know, yesterday. Then let me quickly look at the weekly chart so that will give us a Fine, and he maintained the that, and this is what we call a technical analysis. Now you see this kind of V shape, you know, it, it's a good pattern in technical analysis. This is a strong support uh, level. Even the double button has been formed here, you can see one, one, four, you know, that going up. This is a good one. And if you get to this level, I won't break it before you now see another rally will continue again. When we break at this top here with a good force or a good volume, then we know that. But for me, you know, and also if you look down, it's very important. Look at this man, this you can see that the, the red uh, one is crossing the blue one. The sign that the uptrend is coming, you no, know, sure. You can see that a crossing is here. that technically, you no, know, the stock is strong. You can see that even for the past uh, three weeks, they have been trending up. You can see a candle stick. Yeah. Maybe this is a good one. If you are there for your position, if you want to jump in, go ahead. But if you want to jump well, in, in fidelity, I will tell you, you buy between that, uh, you no, know, two naira, you know, 85 and, uh, you know, two naira, 70 naira. Uh, okay. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. 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 Uh, owned by the highest holding. So I don't know is Transcorp and holding company of highest holding? Uh, for me, this question of uh, highest holding, as a, I don't know, but I know that Transcorp, that, I don't know whether it's a, it's a, hold, uh, um, it's a holding, but I know that Transcorp is a, it's a holding company. Because for you to have a um, Transcorp uh, hotel, to have uh, the other one again, Transcorp hotel and uh, the Anto farm, into farm business and all those stuff, into oil, it's a holding company on its own. But whether head is a holding company to us, I tell you to start to, or I have to find out more details. That I don't have information on that. Yeah. No, I can um, contribute on that. Okay, go ahead, sir. Go. Hello. Go ahead, sir. Hello. Yeah. Uh, Hair's holding, Hair's holding is investment arm of Tony Lumelu. Okay. And to, uh, Hair is a shareholder in Transcorp Group. Okay. Who is a shareholder in Transcorp Group? They are the they are more like the managers of Transcorp. Okay. okay. The whole majority shareholders shareholding in uh, in Transcorp. So how then does their holding in the upstream translate to uh, holding uh, by Transcorp? Transcorp is having the uh, Transcorp is uh, uh, Transcorp. Is the owner of the uh, of the the, no. the Transcorp 
and Elumelu, they, they both own that, uh, oh, yeah. uh, that oil license. Okay. Okay, we need to find out because the publication what that was done, uh, it was attributed to Elumelu. So that is I, why I, I'm... I will, I will look at this. No, it, it, it belongs to transport. I don't know. But, okay. but uh, Elumelu is... I know, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, I want to find out. I don't understand something about transport. Because yeah. where the where they publish results, there will be a different result for transport yeah, okay. and then there will be <laughs> another result for transport international. I, I, I don't understand this area. No. <laughs> and to find out that the annual share of a transport hotel is slightly higher than uh, any per share of transport uh, international. How do, how do we reconcile? Two ideas. I don't understand. Transcorp Trans Hotel is a separate it, entity. It's a separate entity, but it is a it is a subsidiary of Transcorp Transcorp Limited. Transcorp yeah. International. Yeah, it's a subsidiary. Are we sure? Are we sure Transcorp uh, or is a subsidiary? So it's the it, subsidiary of it used to come, they have hotel aspect, which is transport hotel. So when you look at the uh, report, you will see contribution from hospitality. Exactly, exactly. And that mm -hmm. actually comes from transport oh, yes, hotel. Yes, exactly. But the issue is that it appears transport hotel is more effective and prudent than whatever. That's what I can explain. It's a subsidiary of transport. Transcorp, Transcorp is not a group. It cannot be a subsidiary. It's a, it's, it's a different company, but Transcorp no. has a state. Transcorp is a different Transcorp company hotel. completely. But you can be a different company and still register now. You can be a company and still be a subsidiary. There will be a group no, 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 no. for you to have a subsidiary under them. <laughs> no, that no, is it. Transcorp is not a subsidiary. It's not a subsidiary. I mean, it's not a group. Can it's we, a subsidiary of Transcorp. Can we cross check and then? So uh, that hello? Look at that. Hello? 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 Gentlemen. Hello. Yes, man. It don't have to be. We can hear you. We can hear you, sir. Yeah. What hello. Do... There's a difference between Transcorp and Transnational Corporation of Nigeria. Mm. Yes, National yes, Corporation of Trans Nigeria. National Corporation is the parent group of Transcorp Hotel. Exactly. It's like it's like, uh, it's like UBA. UBA yeah. has UCAP. UBA yeah. has uh, the other one, the registrar's uh, arm yeah. of, uh, So the but UBA, you don't have to do it. African so Transcorp, Trans Transcorp is the parent company of Transcorp Hotel. Hotel. Mm -hmm. Simple. And Transcorp International is also owning oh. the oil companies, the Ugeli yeah. somewhere. Exactly. The Ugeli, oil, yeah. Energy something in Ugeli and the Afan Power Station in Port Agos. Yes. yes. So yes. it's a parent company. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Yes, go ahead. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, please, uh, please, uh, I hold this. Let me, uh, let me uh, throw more light uh, on it. Okay. It's a family company yeah. of Tony Elumelu. Okay. Yes. That company owns shares in Transcorp, you know, the subsidiary in UBA, UBA Group, uh, Transcorp Hotel, Transnational, even this UCAP. Yes. So it is not, it is not as if it's a holding company for all the other companies. It's, it's, a, it's an investment arm as a personal business of Tony Elumelu. Exactly. So Tony Elumelu can use that it's instrument. It's an SPV. It's, it's an SPV. Exactly. Eh? exactly. Yes. Yes. So you can use it to back yes. it to, like they have uh, this as oil and gas. You understand me? It's an event. They, they, they have an oil, oil and gas company. So if they want to for finance and maybe if they want to do any investment in oil and gas, they can use that name. And they can, okay, let me borrow money from you, Cap. So instead of going to outside to look for money, they will use the go to UCAP. But get, let's go to UCAP and borrow money and do our investment. You understand me? And mm. Transcorp, who has so into oil and gas, they can also get, let's use our money and invest into this oil and gas. So it's an investment vehicle. 
Mm. So within all the various group of uh, uh, Tolimeli business, yeah. they can say, okay, let look for money from here to here to do this. Look for money from here to do this. So it's mm. an investment company on its own, which yes. is not listed. So they use it mm. as a as a vehicle to buy into new cap, to go into oil and gas, to go into this and go into this. So the money still spin around within himself. So if you want to invest, mm. you, want, you can use it to, to invest in various sector of the economy. And, and more importantly, they also provide technical uh, management service to all these, yeah, they and likewise consultancy support. services to yeah. all those other companies, mm. UBA, yes. Transco, Heads Insurance, and all that. Mm. And they get uh, yes. uh, uh, technical management mm. fees for that. <laughs> mm. and okay, that what the, yeah, I want the woman, that woman, and the question was that. Why is it that the operations of Transport Hotels yeah, looks more true. profitable? There are two distinct companies. Transport yeah. Hotels is different. Um, but yeah. since Transport National, Transnational invest, mm. whatever accrues to Transport Hotel is part of a Transnational, trans, yes, ending. Yeah. That is why you see yeah, yeah. contributions from uh, hospitality. hospitality. Yeah. yeah, from hospitality. So that's huh? why. They are Let excuse, uh, excuse me, sir. The account is never published like that. Uh, they, they <laughs> publish Madam, we are, we, this is an accounting terms that we are talking about. You may not see it from that perspective. Mm. Oh. Can we move on? Can we move on, please? Yes. Move yes. On. Sorry, oh, yeah. sir. Please don't don't the take home is that if I enough of transport, please can we move on? Please, can we move on? Let her ask a question, please. Let her ask a question, please. Hold on. Let her finish. Madam, go ahead. Let her finish a question. I just want to know that uh, this I don't the take home I just want to know is if I invest in Transcorp International, it is directly that I've also invested in a Transcorp hotel. That's what I want That's to know. True. That is, true. Yes. True. That, that is true, but you are going to earn your money in Transcorp, not in the hotel, because hotel also have its own shareholder. Yeah. But you are, you are there because part of yeah. their profit will come to transport uh, uh, Transcorp for its food. That means you are going to partake there too. That means you are, you are past owner indirectly in the hotel and then this one. That is really, you are correct, man. Thank you very much. That's yes. Correct. Okay. Yeah. okay, thank you very much. God bless yeah. you, sir. Okay. Mr. Stay. Ambrose, good, good afternoon. afternoon. Good afternoon. We have, we have so yeah. many hands that have been raised. Can you say something hands. about total? Yeah, I'll tell you earlier, but let me just uh, recap. Total for me is a good one if you are there, if you want to buy, go ahead and buy Total. It's among the stock I want to share this afternoon. Only that you have done it now. Uh, it's among the stock to buy for even next week. If I in Total, because Total has at a two year result, was unaudited, was almost a 49 naira any per share. I don't spend anything less than 15 naira dividend from them because this is a company that pay more than 80% of the dividend out. They have paid 40, uh, 4 naira earlier. Then they don't ask for them to pay even 20 naira for me. That's about 25 naira from uh, from um, um, uh, uh, total. And if you are income investor and also you want to play defensive game, test of uh, these are stock that you should buy. Look at even with the share in issue of um, total, it's very small. And also most of them are in uh, total that want to sell. That's why the price is a bit stable. That's why they bought the result they, they had that previous year. It didn't go below 90 naira, 100 naira. For me, it's a good one to hold your... To hold your uh, yeah, it depends now whether you don't pass the UBA or whether it's day here, I don't know. Hello, Mr. Ambrose. One class, one class, yeah. Hello, Mr. Ambrose. Hello, Mr. Ambrose. Go, 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 go front, yeah, go front a bit. I don't know. Yeah, please one of Stalin Bank. I can see the price movement. What do you about Stalin Bank? Stalin Bank, let me quickly look at that one, please. House, let me look at that Stalin Bank. It does... Is that stock, I want to look at it. Let me look at it together so that all of us can see how that stock is being. Let's look at that study bank. I like the question it asked. Let's take that. There's uh, activities coming up in that uh, company now. That uh, study bank. Technically, I want to see the position. I know that before now, it's looking good technically. But let's look at it. Now that we expected their earnings to come to the market. Fine. This, fine, 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 fine. I want us to look at it. It's a very good uh, question. I want us to look at it. Yes, uh, if you look at the, uh, look at the, uh, if you look at this company now, I will tell you that uh, it's not looking uh, bad technically. That means you and I can, if you are in this talk, are you seeing it? Hello? Are you seeing the chance for, for, 
We, we can see. We can see. Okay. It tells that for me, there is a potential yes. that this stuff will do well. And this is a weekly chart. Let me see, take you to a daily chart first. For me, there's already a breakout was seen. And if the trend continues, we might see a new rally. And if you look at the down here, I always look at this uh, histogram. It gives you a lot of information. And if you're a good trader, it gives you what is happening. And I see that when the stock is almost like trading here, from here to here, you can see where it was already below the signal line. But gradually now, it's coming out above the signal line. And that's why you are seeing this uptrend. I see that the stock is going to go to you know, places going on. If as high as even the price of uh, two naira ten kubo, that means if you are targeting that stock, the first resistance level is at this point, which are around um, around uh, 185. Once you break at 185, was going to show around uh, 210. That means if you are in uh, in a uh, selling bank, hold your position and was seen. Oh, I tell you that if you look at this uh, candlestick here before this long one, it's a sign that this stock resisted decline in that week before the breakout. You can see that it was a longer candlestick compared to the one down. For me, it's a stock to, to, to watch. Let me, for me. And let me look at the daily chart as at uh, Friday. Fine, you can see that a, a breakout already mm. on a daily on a daily chart. It break out uh, from uh, one uh, no one sixty five, and you see almost around uh, what the last Friday night closed. So that almost one uh, seventy two that Friday. It's a good sign. If you are there, very good. Until on a daily chart, we are seeing a bullish run on going to your MACD. It's still bullish for me. Hold your position in the stock. I, I'm good that we, we, we mention it so that anybody that is in this stock do not panic at all. For hold your position for. You are going to make money once you break out that tonight again. You see a new rally. So if the results come on Friday uh, on Monday and it's positive, or they go to be the result within the month of February, fine. But we'll see they are predicted on Monday, a full year, and it's positive. We're going to break out that uh, tonight. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hello, uh, hello, uh, thank you. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, good sir. Afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. I'm just wondering whether there is a better way to manage the question and answer section. Okay. By maybe people raising their hands and you'll be the one that will call on them to maybe yes. answer their question. Okay. And immediately that is done, people can lower their hands. Because okay. we have so many people raising their questions. Hands. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Okay. So okay. except for those our uh, guys that have uh, contributions and all that, they can no problem at all. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much. Thank you very much. So having said that, please can you give me an insight? So what is happening to livestock? Okay. For livestock, yes. if you look at the chart, let me go before I, I conclude. Uh, that, that will be the last chart to conclude for today. But let me look at it first. Livestock, before I go to the chart, yes, we're expecting their numbers to come. But before now, we've seen an uh, improvement in their numbers and positive sentiment for the sector. And the company was seen that because it's one of the low price stock there, the price attractive and where they are operating, we see a lot of potential there. But the numbers are at third quarter was not too attractive, but too good. But now that the market is oscillating and the stock is oscillating, sorry, and you see it touched uh, you know, 218, comes down to 205, 203, go up again. There's, a, there's something happening that rate. Until break out that uh, 220 again, folks can see and another new rally. And that will be when they release the result. I the results come. I see the results coming either that or Monday. But if they release the results of Monday, that means it will come in February. And the first time they're going to pay dividend, if they are because they are any started process about supporting people for the past uh, years, especially 2019 back, they are posting red accounts. For 2019, come up now, it has seen a positive number, which I feel that like either number they put in 2021, they might likely pay dividend. If you are in live stock, I say hold on. But also, there's also you no know, an activity that's going to happen in that stock. But they don't know the actual time period, but if you are in that stock, I would advise you to hold on. But unless you are seeing another better opportunity, you want to cut loss, you don't want to stop in cutting loss and move. But if you want to wait and see the result, it's better if you don't enter before the results come. But if you are there, who your position. But let me quickly go to the chart before we we'll, we'll run the class, we'll call the class there. We'll call it a day. So let me go to that chart and then bring that chart up there. Of livestock. That will be the last chart for today. Let's see how it looks like. Yes, I look like. That's very, very important.
I will test you. If you look at this chart now, this chart is on the uh, on a daily chart. You see that even we saw kind of a uh, you know a a, a bearish uh, position here, and when it had to register, this price of uh, two naira seven kubo have become a, a strong resistance for the stock in a, in a recent time. Until you break it down for when I say something else has happened. But if I registered for almost like two weeks now, you want to watch out to see. But if you look at your down here, you can see that it's already becoming bearish in the nature because it has crossed down the signal line here in terms of uh, your, your marginal is small. You want to watch if by, by Monday in any form I can change the face of the stock. But for me, if you are there, you can still wait. But if you want to cut loss, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop because I said that stop loss we use in the price signal is very important. Just so you can apply in the No one when to stop a loss and move but I've waited for this stuff for a while. But if you want to get us now because we are seeing a positive strength in the market, which you can move to that stuff will give you more return. Fine. But if you want to wait for the result, wait for Monday to see whether the result will come on Monday, whether to change the face of a, of a live stock. Yeah. Yes, before we call, we call it the, the first stock to watch for this week. So that ah. we can position position ahead of the new week, you know, as we're entering the week. The first stop there is uh, Total Energies. Now that is the first stop there. And uh, the the second one is Julius Vega. Are you, are you with me there? Julius Vega and the Sterling Bank, the, the only banking stop there. And the, the next one again, I think we we'll also put on that stock last time. It's me and Baker. If you are not me and Baker, this time for you to buy me and Baker. These are the stock we are recommending there for today. We are taking them. Total is the first stock there. Are you there? Take it up. Total is the first stock there. Dillard's Vega, Selling Bank, Selling Bank, and me and Baker. These are the, these are the stock, these are the stock uh, we are looking at for this week. Enjoy your week. For all those ones that we are, especially the your capital those ones, we are waiting to see the results. You no, know, you have to hold on. Those that are in UBA, hold your UBA. No, no, if you are in the bank, hold your net bank. If you are in press school, hold your press school that we're expecting the result of press. We have seen the first results of Kumu. No, hold all those positions. But for this week, you want to buy is Tota, Los Vega, Sterling, and what and me and Baker. Thank you all and God bless you. Let somebody quickly pray for us. A Christian brother pray and when we are starting. Let a, a, a Muslim brother pray when I start, sorry. Let a Christian brother in the house also pray for us to round up the uh, session for the day. And uh, don't forget that by next week, as from uh, February, not the first week, the offer we will start our life uh, chat during the market time. We didn't have uh, 12 to 12 to 12 30 every day on the on, on the live chat on how the market will be so that it will support us to know what to do you know, in the market at that, you know every day by God's grace. As that is the second week of February. You no, know, the instrument we used to we, we use, they just just uh, order them. I think by next week they've been Nigeria. I want them to so you can see our life uh, you know, chart and everything when the market is going on uh, from uh, February to second week. Thank you. Let's everybody pray for us. Sorry, you said Sta Total Stanley M and B and what? And uh, Total Stanley Los Vega. Okay, thank you. Let somebody quickly pray for us that we can uh, call it a day. A Christian or Muslim brother? In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father, for such a good meeting we have had such an interaction we pray as we continue to share knowledge and brood on what is happening in the market that you continue to lead and direct us commit them mm -hmm. bruce before you and everyone who make useful contribution and you cause us to continue to learn amen we'll continue to share those ideas and at the end of the day all of our investments mm -hmm. will yield the desired results this we ask through christ jesus mm -hmm. Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you all. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you all. God bless you. Yeah, thank, thank you very much, Ambrose. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you a lot, Ambrose. Thank you. Thank you a lot, Ambrose. Yeah, thank you, Madam. Yeah, yes.
Thank you, Mr. Ambrose. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a thank nice day. Mr. Ambrose. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Yeah. God bless everyone. Yeah, thank you too. A God bless you. Profitable trading week. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Okay, mm. Ambrose. Sir. I sent I sent an email to as directed last week. No one has added my number to the WhatsApp group. Uh, but I added those. I, I, I my colleague added about almost three numbers. Okay, send it to my WhatsApp. Please, please, so that will fall to the IT guy. I know that. I'm not sure I have the WhatsApp. I'm not yeah. sure I have the WhatsApp. Oh, yeah, take the number now 080. Okay. 281. 281. Yeah, 640085. 640085. Okay. Thank you. 080 6485. Yes. Thank you. I'll send it to you now. Okay. Add your name, yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. Yep. Yeah.